Man, man, man. We live in emasculated times, my friends. Right. Or, but are you afforded that same opportunity? Like, if you want to bring a girl home to bang in front of her, is Probably that... not in front of her, right. but I can definitely go out and have sex with other girls. I okay. Have to, I would just have to ask permission, though. I would just have to ask permission, though. Got it. Oh, okay. We live in times where men submit both spirit and mind and body to any random female to get back a simple hello Hi. and raise their almost non-existent dopamine levels. We live in times where simping and white knighting are the law and anything else is perceived as a threat to the system. That system is our enemy. Now, you may ask, what all this I mentioned have to do with the movie? Well, I don't know if the director had the same psychological intentions for the audience with this movie, but to me, this movie portrays the average desperate guy out there who doesn't want to lose his girlfriend and is willing to tolerate his girlfriend's narcissistic tendencies in order to get laid, but in a very exaggerated psychopathic manner. I mean, there are people out there who love being cucks. They truly love to see their woman getting railed by different men. So I choose to allow my girlfriend to sleep with other men. That doesn't give you the right to call me a cuck. <laughs> but there are also those who don't like at all this idea, but they have to tolerate it because they don't have other sexual options or because they are indeed in love with their girlfriends, but they can't maintain masculine frame or they are afraid that they will lose their girlfriends if they will. The protagonist of this movie is a mix of all these. He acts apathetic, but he's secretly outraged with the idea of his wife fucking other men. In purely psychiatric terms, he's a sneaky psychopath, but so is his wife. The protagonist seems to derive masochistic pleasure from imagining his wife getting fucked by other men, but this pleasure has its limits because he acts on his competitive, compulsive urges by killing other wooers. I guess there is nothing more aphrodisiac for a woman than a man who is willing to kill anyone in his path or her path in order to gain reproductive access. It's basically a mild form of hybristophilia, a form of paraphilia where the female is attracted to violent criminals, but the protagonist isn't violent in any way, although he is very straightforward with each shooter by claiming that he is indeed the culprit behind the murders, but he is perceived as a troll or an asshole. Anyway, I don't know why would any male actor want to play this role unless he had a similar experience, especially an actor of this caliber like Ben Affleck. I believe the target audience of this movie are females because women love to see men chasing women. But most importantly, they love to see men exhibit psychopathic tendencies in order to court with them and protect them. But it goes more deeply. It's not just about protection. It's about emotional domination. Women love to manipulate men with their sexuality. That's the archetypical female nature since the beginning of time. And the female co-star of this movie is definitely a very sexual specimen. And that's the only reason I saw this movie. Boys will be boys, I guess. <coughs>